Every week I get tons of student emails, and some of them are pretty hard to respond to. To give you an idea of what I'm talking about, I asked a few of my fellow tutors to bring along some of their most challenging student emails. <sighs> Tifa, nothing works. I can't make it go. Please help. Um, what doesn't work? Where are you? And I... what? Huh? Yo, miss. What did I miss? What up, fam? Not sure what tute I'm in for this unit. Slack, I know. Help a brother out? Sure thing, fam. As soon as you tell me what the unit code is in the subject header of your email, or in your email at all. Happy to help. Okay, so here's an email. Uh, when is my assignment due? Well, why don't I go to Blackboard and have a look for you? Okay. Dear Miss, you have cool hair and nice clothes. Keep up the good work. Okay, so they were some extreme examples. Most of the emails we get are pretty good. The point is that your tutors are there to help you. So to make sure that you get the fastest and most accurate response possible, I present to you three handy tips for emailing your tutor. Tip one, always include your name and unit code, either in the subject heading or in the body of the email. Tip two, be specific. The more accurate your question is, the better the response we can give you. If you have many questions, put them in a list. Also, please check Blackboard before you hit send. The answer may already be there waiting for you. And tip three, always be professional. We understand that an email is not the same as a formal letter, but it's not the same as a text message either. Avoid being overly familiar and always be polite. If you do these three simple things, I can guarantee you'll be your tutor's favorite student. <laughs>